goes to the Super Bowl. To me, it was the biggest upset in the history of Super Bowls. Oh, baby, they're going to win this thing. We weren't supposed to win it. Terrell Davis on the 40, spins on his feet inside the 30-yard line. The things we had to go through, ups and downs. Terrell Davis has left the field. Hang on right on the floor. One play to the championship. We have to just go show the world who we are and what we're all about. This is the toast of the underdogs. Now we do it at our way. It's a dream for a kid who grew up in San Diego to go back to a city where everybody you know can literally come out there and watch you play in the biggest game of your life. Welcome to the Super Bowl. Welcome to San Diego, California, and welcome to football, the final game. It's interesting going to an organization where you're known for losing Super Bowls more than you are for winning them. Terrible it felt to go home last year after losing the Super Bowl. Well, if last year was bad, this baby is off. You're fighting these demons, and the one thing that I try to remind myself is that we're not the same team that played in those Super Bowls. I don't know how many points they were favored by, but I do believe it was double digits. We were the underdog. Nobody believes in us. It's us against the world. Go on, play your hearts out. We'll come out on top. Get out here, baby. I kind of like that role. That's a sweet role to be in. And the Broncos and the Packers are set. Super Bowl 32 is officially underway. Here's Brett straight back in the pocket some time. Going to the end zone. Back there is Antonio Freeman. Touchdown, Packers! Antonio Freeman on an absolutely gorgeous throw by Brett Barr. They drove down the field, scored their touchdown. And as an office, I remember when they scored, I said, okay, let's go. Now we got to answer. Go! There you go. Hand off left side, Davis. There Terrell Davis. Go. Outside the 40. 35 30. Inside the 25. Still on his feet. Inside the 20. First down, Denver. A run of 26 yards. Okay, goal line. Goal line. Goal line. Elway, handoff, Davis. Into the end zone. Touchdown! And we went out there and we drove down the field and we scored a touchdown. I think to me it was a moment like, okay, like we know we can do it, but now we know we can do it. Game on. It's time to go. I tell you what, some stunned people on that Green Bay sideline. We're playing the Indianapolis Colts right now. This team is not better than us. They're not even good. We are playing the Indianapolis Colts right now. They're not even good. And we let them do that thing off. Oh. The Colts were just so bad. It was a slap in the face. You weren't preparing to play the Colts. You were preparing to play the Broncos, and we tried to embarrass teams. Terrell cuts back over the 45. Terrell Davis over the 40. Spins on his feet inside the 30-yard line. Terrell Davis. So the spin move, I don't break out often. It was kind of break the glass for special occasions. That spin move was one of those. <laughs> Watch the move. Yeah, and Paul, this is the play Green Bay knows they have to stop. He called us the Colts. He kind of got what you had coming because you didn't respect us enough to think that we were a really good team. <laughs> Looks over a four-man line as he sends Griffith in motion. Handoff, Davis running right side. Terrell Davis breaks a tackle. He's going to be knocked down at about the six, but he's got a first down. And I think Davis may be shaken up. Terrell Davis is on both knees, he and this would be bad, costly for the Broncos. And that was the worst thing could happen, the migraine. It was just, the timing was awful. And when that happened, I was like, okay, when I know I'm about to get a migraine, I have a sign. And the sign is, I start to lose my vision. What's that? Can't see. OK, just do this. You don't worry about seeing on this place, because we're going to fake it to you, the 15 lead. But if you're not in there, they won't believe we're going to run, OK? And so I trusted him. I didn't, I didn't question it. I stayed in, ran down to the goal line. We ran a play. It was fake 15 handoff, fullback slide. Play fake. Elway rolls right. He can run it in. John, it will trot into the end zone. Touchdown. It was painful because I thought that I was letting down my teammates because I couldn't contribute. I couldn't play anymore. He ain't gonna run He's scared. They out the game. Man. Take him out. I just remember being helpless, just like, you know, nothing I could do about it. But I felt really bad. And I just told myself, if I'm able to come back into this game, I got to make sure I do some damage. I got to make sure that I make up for this. Welcome back to San Diego, ready for the second half. Let's go down to Jim Gray. I had Terrell Davis come by as he was running out. He said he felt much better here. He got some treatment at halftime. He's going to try and play in the second half and feels he can be effective. There's nothing that's shaking about my confidence. Matter of fact, I get the ball first play coming out of halftime. And the pitch goes back to Davis, through the line, gets a couple of yards. And then all of a sudden, Bust the ball. I don't have the ball anymore. Down about the 27-yard line. Break this the Packers team. have the ball. 
a fumble to Brock. And the Packers will have a great chance from the 27 first turnover by the Broncos. I had to process that. This could have been the turning point. This could have been that pivotal moment that they replay in history for years to come because I fumbled and I gave them great field position. As I'm walking back to the sideline, coach comes over to me and I tell everybody I'm fine. Like, I'm okay. Like, that's on me. I'm fine. I'm good. And so I just dialed in, focused a lot more, concentrated more, and I was able to do that as the game went on. Packers jumping around, they rush four. Plenty of time for John, now squeezes, steps up in the pocket. Elway can run. Come on, John, come on. Come on. Inside the 10, head first. He oh, dives oh, inside oh, the oh. five yard line. When I saw John do the helicopter play, that was the moment that I knew we were going to win. I remember thinking, if John can do that, then I gotta give more. I can't give no less than that. And I said, that's that moment, that's that play. You want to tell me the 37-year-old man doesn't want to win this game? Man, oh man. That sacrifice, oh man. Second and goal from the one, Elway. Davis to the end zone, touchdown Denver! That was a 93-yard drive. Green Bay takes over, first and 10th, their 15-yard line. I have to sit there and watch Brett Favre. Try to go down the field and score a touchdown on our defense. Our defense is playing well. Now Favre straight back in the pocket looking at that arm. Touchdown for the Packers to Freeman. Just keep coming. Keep coming. Denver, three minutes and 27 seconds away from sending the Mile High City about a mile high. We anticipated that we would wear them out because our whole game plan was to try to wear out the defensive front. This is a championship drive we have to have now. We're getting some good chunks. We're getting some positive yards. Left side behind Howard Griffith. Nice hold. Davis, 15, 10, 5, Davis! Did he get in? No, he's out at the one yard line. And the hearts are pounding in Denver. Nobody but Terrell here. Play snap, and it felt like it was slow motion. Second and goal from the one with a minute 47. Elway, long count. Davis, do not fumble this ball. Davis, it is a rocking standing up. Can you say Denver is in the lead? And now it's time for our defense to, to, to make a play. It's all right, Denver. Touchdown again. It's a touchdown. It ain't on Denver's winning. It's on our shoulder, baby. Somebody step up and let's make a play. I would tell you, that was the most nerve wracking time of my life. As Favre drops straight back, Green set up to Levens. Levens breaks the tackle, 35-40. Dorsey Levens over the 45, midfield into Bronco territory. The first play he ran was a draw by Levens, and he picked up about 20 yards. He ran through a couple of our defenders. And then they get around midfield, where our defense started to make some plays. Here they come. Favre, pass over the middle is going to be incomplete. Oh. Boom. It was a collision. And then it became that fourth down play. This is it. Fourth and six for the 31. Come on. The whole season has come down to one play. I'm on the sideline, and I'm praying to God. Now, you don't take sides. I know I can't ask you for a lot, but just give me this one. Farm hit as he throws. Pass is going to be incomplete. Denver's going to win it. Oh, baby, they're going to win this thing. Are you kidding me? It's over. That's it. We have won the Super Bowl. Rocco players are all over the field. That was a great moment. They have shocked everybody. And I remember after that play, I looked up at the scoreboard. They announced who was the Super Bowl MVP. And then I saw that it was, it was me. Super Bowl 32 is history, and so is the Broncos' winless streak in Super Bowls. Man, I, I'm numb right now. I can't even reflect on the game right now. I guess I'm out there. It's going to take a while for this to set in. You are a different team. You're not that old Denver Broncos team. We weren't supposed to win it. Only thing we heard about was how the AFC was such a bad conference. The NFC was a great conference, and I wouldn't want it any other way. You can stand up and salute in Denver. And you got the world champions that live in your town.